physics. So physics is can be quite fun. So Unity uses the NVIDIA physics engine that still works on AMD cards. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, just going to open this physics demo. So what's happening here is I'm chucking bananas at um, some physics objects, and things are things are you know colliding with other objects and causing interactions and things like that. Okay, so this is, all of this is happening using a single component called a rigid body component. And the rigid body component adds your object into the physics engine. You also see, I think I haven't showed any particle effects yet, but these the flames from this uh, dragon and the flames from my fireball are you are using particle systems and you can see as I fire stuff you'll see if, if you look at the hierarchy when I fire when I start firing these balls you'll see that these these objects are instantiated and each one of these systems has a particle um, each one of these game objects has a particle system associated it's instantiating a prefab if you if you are to instantiate an object like that it must be a prefab so this fireball shoot, sorry, this shoot ball object is a prefab. And if you are to load objects at runtime, then um, I believe I oh know. Okay, they can just be standard prefab. I thought they had to be in a special directory, but they don't. Okay. So the shoot ball. Let's, let's just prove to you. So the shoot ball here is a um, is a prefab. So there's various prefabs around here. Okay. Um, okay. So let, let's take a look. Let, let's take a look at a physics object. Ooh, okay. So this kind of grid of ob grid of cubes with the thing that I just destroyed. They're just meshes, and each one of these meshes has a rigid body component, which essentially adds it to the physics engine. And we've also got checked here, use gravity, and also a collider. In this case, it's a box collider, because that's what suits the object. If you have a very, usually even for modern games, characters are uh, obviously humanoid characters, but their, physic their physical interactions will be based on approximations of that mesh geometry. So they won't have, for instance, colliders for every finger. They'll have a collider for the hand, a kind of flattened, kind of capsule-shaped collider for the hand. Because the more complex your uh, physics collider is, uh, the more strain that it puts on your physics engine, slows down the frame rate, and it's not generally required to have incredibly detailed collisions. And where it is, then you can make an exception and use a mesh collider. So for instance, this toadstool type thing is using a mesh collider. It could, all, it could be approximated further. It could be, uh, but um, in practice, it's, it's going to be OK if you use a mesh collider for that. A mesh collider generates the collider based exactly on the mesh. Uh, a sphere collider or a capsule collider or a cylinder collider is an is a proxy geometry. So, for instance, um, okay, this is a good example. It's unnecessary to use a mesh collider on this dragon's head, but it's just using a, a box collider, which is this green cube around here. So everything in green in Unity is a collider. And those colliders will interact with other objects with colliders. Okay, so it has a collider in here. It also has a rigid body, which which allows it to work within the physics engine. 
Um, and it's also using another type of, this particular dragon example is using another type of thing, physics object called a hinge joint, which is for uh, these, these, these type of, um, well, it creates a joint between two objects. And you'll see, it's called a hinge, yeah. And it's connected to number six, where this one is number, number five. Okay, so they're, str they're strung up like this. Okay, so colliders and rigid bodies. If you want, if two objects collide with each other, then you can use the mono uh, function called on collision enter, I think, which is a built-in function. So any script that is attached to an object which, which has a collider and then collides with another object, any script that has an on collision enter will be called when that collision happens. So you can use it to trap events. 